Today I'm going to be going over trombone slide positions. As always, be super careful with your slide and make sure you watch me first. I'll tell you when you can try it on your trombone. So we've talked a lot about the slide lock and making sure it stays locked so that we don't accidentally drop our slide. Well today, we are actually going to unlock that slide. So watch me first. I'm going to unlock it and you'll see that the slide can move out, out, out. And we've already done this, right? When we did our maintenance, we had to take it completely off. Well, we're not gonna take it completely off today, but I am gonna go over the different slide positions. So when it's all the way at the top, like it normally is when, when it's locked, this is our first position. So if I go up and I play a note in first position, that's our B flat, right? We know that. But now when we move the slide, it's gonna change the sound. Listen to me play it when I, when I move the slide down. Try to think of what happens to the pitch. Did you hear it change? I didn't do anything with my lips. I didn't do anything with my air. All I did was move the slide. Now I want you to try that with me. So go ahead and unlock your slide. We're gonna go up to playing position Nice steady note shape, and we're just gonna move it all the way down until your arm is straight. So here we go, starting in first position. Nice deep breath in and out. And awesome. So that is us moving our slide all the way out, right? Did you notice that the pitch got lower, right? The sound has started here and it went, ah, it got really low and really deep. So now we're gonna go over each in particular position to get to that bottom note. So what we just did is called a glissando. It's where we smear it all together. All the notes are connected and there's no set places. So here we go. I'm gonna go over the different slide positions a little bit closer so that you can see them. Like I said, all the way up like this is first position. That's the same as when the slide is locked, still in first position. When I unlock my slide and I open the slide just a little bit, this is our second position. You can see there's about an inch of that silver slide sticking out. This is second position. Moving on down to third, I'm gonna give a little bit more space. The biggest one here you can see from the side is that my brace is still gonna be in front of that bell by about an inch. So we have, I don't know, maybe three or four inches of silver sticking out. But the way that I want you to think about it is when you're looking at that brace, it's in front of your bell, so closer to you by about an inch. Fourth position, on the other hand, is kind of easy to line up. So if I take my slide and I go down to fourth, you see where the silver meets the gold? It's gonna line up with the, with the edge of your bell, right? So this is too close, this is too far, fourth position, you line up that gold and the silver right with the bell. Again, that is fourth position. So let me real quick, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to show you what happens to the sound when I play in each one of those positions. So first position, we have our B flat. <laughs> Moving down to second position. So this is about an inch of silver. Sounds like this. <laughs> So got a little lower, right? Let's go to third. So now I'm about an inch in front of the bell. You see my hands? Sounds something like this. It's getting lower and lower. Now I'm going to fourth. I'm lining up the gold and, and the silver right with that bell, just like this. Sounds a little bit like this. So let's keep getting lower. Let's move on. Let's do two more. We're gonna go to five. Now five, you kind of just, you guesstimate a little bit. It's about three or four inches after the bell. And it sounds something like this. <laughs> Moving on down to six. So for us, especially for, for you guys, our arms are a little shorter. So we're gonna call six position, your arm all the way straight. Arm all still sitting up, nothing weird with the shoulders. Your arm is just, you're at playing position, your arm goes all the way straight, that is our sixth position. It sounds something like this. 
And seventh position, this is the last one. It's really far. So not only is our arm all the way extended, but also we have to push a little bit more with our shoulder. So check that out. Here's, let me move my hair out of the way. So our arm is all the way extended for sixth, and then for seventh, all I do is push that shoulder a little bit. Don't move your upper body too much, right? If you start moving like this part, pushing it forward, then that's gonna mess up with your face. The only thing that moves, arm extends, shoulder moves just a little bit, just a little bit. So here is what seven sounds like. So I go to six all the way out, and then seven is just a little bit further. Sounds something like this. So really, really, really low. We won't be doing too many uh, seven positions. We're gonna, for today, we're gonna focus mainly on one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll demonstrate one and then you'll copy. So here we go. We're gonna start in first position. Slide is all the way up. Listen, I'm gonna demonstrate it first. Sounds something like that. That's our B flat, right? We've played that one a lot. Go ahead and try it with me. Here we go. First position, all the way up. Breathe in and out. Awesome. So now we're going to move on to second position. So right now with your slide should be unlocked. Uh, go ahead and go to second position. So there's about an inch of silver. I'll play it first and then you join. Listen. Here we go. And breathe in and play. Awesome. So here we go, moving on to third position. So we're moving down just a little bit. Remember, that brace stays in front of the bell by about an inch. Here we go, I'll play it. Here we go, join in with me and take a nice deep breath in and out. Awesome. So now let's move to fourth position. That's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, remember that gold lines right up with the bell where the gold and the silver meet is in line. So go ahead and find that position. Come up to playing position. Hold it still. Check it again. Make sure it's in line. Listen first. Here we go. Join in. Deep breath in and out. Awesome job. So we're going to be working more on moving our slide. And so when you're at home, practice those different positions. Check it first and then go to playing position. Make sure that it stays the same. Use a mirror. You can record yourself. That's going to be super helpful because then you can go back afterwards and watch. Was my hand actually, was I actually in second position or did I go to fourth or did I not move at all, right? So double check it and keep practicing those slide positions. We'll work more on the other ones, so five, six, and seven on a different day. But for now, I want you to keep working on one, two, three, and four. Happy practicing.